Yes, this is the source talk show, Tom Shaw News with yes, Sham. Chicago's on show, Shot Town, stand up. Jessica McCaskill, first talk champ. I want to be all in the video. <laughs> Just Congratulations, <laughs> champ. Uh, major news, man. Vegas, next week, man. Talk about it. Yeah, man. We just got like uh, a contract signed with Matchroom, penciled out the deal. Uh, that includes the 4th, December 4th, Vegas on the zone of fighting Victoria Bustos. All the belts are on the line. Another Argentinian, you know how we get down. You know, they, they like the brawl and we love the brawl. So uh, that's what that's what's up for next week. Uh, came here just to make sure everybody knew what was going on. We're going to do a little bit of the commentating again for this fight uh, t uh, tomorrow. So, you know, just trying to stay in the mix. Make sure everybody don't forget my face. Yeah, this, I want you to have size on this. Stand ready so you don't have to get ready. Because look, you can just pop out and they, you know, title defense. We, Speak on that real quick for the fans. We've been asking for a fight since about April. And, you know, you never know when it's going to pop up. Uh, we've been in the gym, we've been sparring, we've been tra uh, trained and conditioning, watching our weight, just in case something pops up. And then you, you get to the end of the year and you think like, man, it's probably not going to happen. And that could have been the spot where I, I lightened up or like I ate heavy or I didn't train. I'm like, it's still time. Like, we got a whole couple months left and then that started to dwindle down. It's like, we got December left and it popped off. So, we're ready. We've been ready. Uh, um, it's just the last week now, so we just kind of tapering off on weight, and we got one more sparring session. We leave here Sunday, get back to Chicago, we have a sparring session, I'm get my hair braided, and then we're going to fly out to Vegas. So it's just like kind of nonstop. Yes, one final question I always like to ask all the fighters, especially the world champion fighters, such as yourself. Let the young kids know. You know, especially the female fighters that's coming up. Now, now you know, it's, it's, it's like a female out there that wants to be the next Jessica, man. You know, let them know what it takes, the sacrifice, the dedication. It takes, it takes all heart. It takes will, mind, power. Like, you have to believe in yourself no matter what because there's going to be a ton of people that look at you because you're a female or look at you because you're an age, whether it's young or old. They're going to look at you because maybe you throw your right hand funny, but, like, that might be the punch that knocks somebody out one day. Like, you just have to believe in yourself and what you're doing. And if you really want to do it, you got to put blinders on and don't focus on any of that negative energy and keep pushing because everybody that said that you couldn't do it or that you shouldn't do it, they're going to fall off to the wayside. They're going to they gonna start, you know, messing up and doing their own thing. And if you stay steady on that, on that consistent path, you'll be fine. So that's exactly what I did. I started late. I started at like 20-something, almost 30. Um, I didn't have a lot of amateur fights. Uh, it wasn't when female boxing was, was big at all, and I just ignored everything everybody said, and it got a good team to support me, and we did it. Once again, this is the champ, tunnel vision is key. Yeah. Thank you for your time, champ. Best of luck. Vegas, get ready. Be my Vegas. It's on our way. Thank you, champ. Thank you.